The best two sides in the tournament finally going head to head. What a final we have in store. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome. This is a stadium that really resonates with every Australian football fan. We're in Sydney at Stadium Australia. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And now it is very much final in more ways than one. The decisive match here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Spain against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the lineup for Spain. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Lucy Bronze. Stanway. And there the attack ends for now. Can she find the right pass? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Oh, it might be! Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Jenny. Georgia Stanway Stanway and a good looking ball really digging in at the back but still the opportunity Bon Mati looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead able to get a body in the way well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. And deciding to go short with this one. And making the run to the inside. Well, a decent effort, but not quite on the target. Stanway, Chloe Kelly, determined defending, Paredes, Ona Batier, Alba Redondo, Tere Abeyera, 
What can they do from here? Crossing opportunity. And a very good challenge. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And what an opportunity this is for her. Well, the truth of the matter is she didn't really make the goalkeeper work very much at all. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far. And as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. There will be one minute added on at the end. Can they take advantage? Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Just the challenge that was required. And the counter looks on here, options available. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Not out of the woods yet. And thwarted there following the cross. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. No way through. Firing it in. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Well, maybe she thought she would escape punishment. The referee right on top of the situation. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? Still not clear. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Lucy Bronze. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Nobs. And they need to get tighter here. Oh, keeper in control. And they will make the change now. Well, they're going for the short one. Nobs. Time for calm on the ball. Aitana Bonmati. Jenny. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Just cutting off the supply. Breaking at pace. And somehow, the score sheet remains blank. Well, I think that sums up why we haven't seen any goals in this game. It's not a good finish, is it? And England's come away with it. Teammates available. Level pegging, but can they change that? A fine reading of the situation. 
And we've entered the final five minutes. Now, who can she pass it to? And she's being egged on by the crowd. Now, that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Russo. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Oh, she's in a really promising position. Excellent defending, but the chance is still on. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Plenty of support here. An incisive pass. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. And over it comes. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Can they forge ahead? It's goalkeeping of the highest class. Well, that should be a goal, really, but what a wonderful save that was. Brilliant from the goalkeeper. She's just saved her team there. And the short option preferred. And getting across to stop it. Well, the short corner routine. An attack full of promise, and she's kept it out. Short corner it is. And we are going to have two additional minutes. This might be ideal for the counter. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Can they take the lead? Just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. Lucy Bronze. Lauren James. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Well, the cross that time completely overcooked. Shooting chance. And thumped away. No way through. And the teams are level. And every corner counts at this juncture. And well, they're going for the short one. And a good-looking ball. She's ready to pounce. What a block! Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Playing it short. Good use of advantage by the referee. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming.
Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Goal! And the final whistle is music to the ears of every England fan. Listen to this. England are the world champions. And this is what these players have been dreaming about for quite some while now. Just look at the emotion on these players' faces. Great scenes here. Yes, the dream has been realised. England's Women's World Cup winners for the first time. And what a moment this is for Serena Wiegmann and her players. Just listen to the noise when this trophy is lifted. What a moment this will be. England, the European champions, and now the world champions as well. It is quite the double, and they're entitled to celebrate for as long as they want. Really top-class scenes here. Look at the players taking the trophy over to the fans. They've played their part as well. These are great moments for the players, the fans, and the coaches.